dramatically increasing global population, re you know, reductions in arable land and reductions in availability of water. We'll keep building expensive infrastructure to manage that, which will increase costs to the consumer. And we need to figure out how to get the same services, the same benefits from water, um, while using a lot less of it. The water industry must embrace innovation if it's going to keep up with these global trends. We're here today to connect, to collaborate and solve these challenges. And more importantly, at the end of this, to grow our respective businesses. Welcome to the Innovation to Change. GHD is a principal supporter of the Innovation Interchange because we're passionate about innovation, we're passionate about solving the challenges faced by the global infrastructure industry and we know we need to collaborate to solve those challenges. I think some of the barriers to innovation within the water sector are the nature of the industry. It's a very regulated industry. You know, the regulatory system needs to develop a pathway where things can come in as a trial. It's quite risk averse, um, so you know, there is issues around failure. But you can't afford to uh, experiment with your drinking water systems or your sanitation systems because the ramifications of fire are quite significant. Connecting parties is another big one. Our big challenges are in getting those solutions out into a wider audience. Some of these barriers can be overcome really by increasing business awareness of the opportunities that are available. I think one of the best things is to try and encourage the different segments to be able to interact with each other and any way that that can be done in an easy form is, is ideal. And it's about connecting the supply side, the technology providers, with the market. Let me show you how it works. Infrastructure managers have challenges. Technology providers respond with solutions. Technology providers also have service needs and associates respond. The innovation interchange is made up of both online and offline components. Online we have an interactive web portal. Offline we run a series of workshops and seminars. We also have a mentoring and partnering program for innovative technology providers. Cleantech looked at the Innovation Interchange program and said, ah, oh, maybe this is a, a light on the hill. Um, perhaps this is the first time I've seen in my 20 years that there may be a way in which an SME can participate with the larger organisations and have an output. The Innovation Interchange is different because it's a professional community focused on solving challenges. It's not just a talk fest. It's very, very exciting to be able to tap into a global portal. It's dream come true. From our perspective, we will certainly be using the online component um, to look for those opportunities and see whether or not we can become part of that matchmaker experience. Um, we'd like also though to think that we could be a foundation member of the offline experience as well. And how we can be involved from the point of view of sharing some of the things that we're doing with other members of the Innovation Interchange and similarly as well how we can learn. We believe organisations will get out of the Innovation Interchange as much as they put in. The web portal is now live and we're building a strong community focused on solving global water challenges.